So if you look at the screen, you see that when I click on this uh, launch uh, demo model, nothing shows up. So I'm going to show you very briefly how to add a pop-up to your AngularJS app. Now, this is the steps I've made out here. Uh, very uh, few steps. First, you install Bootstrap. Second, you install ng Bootstrap. Now, these are two different things. And ng Bootstrap is actually a beta Bootstrap that is suited for Angular application. So that is why we have to use it. And it gives you a better appearance, a better look and feel than normal Bootstrap, than normal Bootstrap, like something like this. If you if you would like to learn more, please I'll recommend subscribe to my channel because you can always get nuggets like this every time. Again, if you want to know how to set up Bootstrap, you can ask, actually just type Bootstrap with Angular Kindson because my name is Kindson the Tech Pro. So you can see me here how to set up Bootstrap and jQuery with Angular application. And I'm going to be explaining it right now. So the first thing you want to do is to run uh, npm install Bootstrap. So to do that, you can open another terminal by clicking on this plus sign right here and simply run npm install npm install bootstrap minus minus uh, save but i already did install it so i'm not going to install it again and also do the same thing for uh the same thing for bootstrap ng bootstrap now this step three four and five and six they are the most important step and let me take you through these steps right now now for you to get what you need to work with bootstrap you simply go to bootstrap uh, sorry, ng bootstrap. You have everything just like bootstrap. You have all the components you need. So when you click on it, you have a uh, component right here. All right, so let's follow the steps. Uh, the step number three says add ngb module to the app.model.ts file. So I'm going to go to app.model.ts file and add ngb module. Now I'm going to do something first. I'm going to add it because I already added it before. So let me just add it right now with you so that you can see ngb now if you go ngb module that will be the wrong one is going to be ngb module okay like this and then the import statement is added automatically or you can also add it if it doesn't add so we are done with step three step four says add the button to your html page now to get the button you simply go to um simply go to model in the bootstrap uh website go to model and go to this place that says uh the first one to this model this is what we want to use so simply go to the code and this is the code right now this is the button that launches this page so i'm going to copy it and then i'm going to paste it uh in the html uh, component which is this one so I already have a button here, this button right here. So I'm going to simply overwrite this button. So I'm going to paste it. Now this button I pasted now have a function, a click event uh, that goes with it. Now this click event, we've not written it. It's, it has to be written in TypeScript file, just like JavaScript, but this time it's going to be TypeScript, but you are not going to write it. Everything is just here for you. So you are going to go to model basic and copy this open and also copy the smith open and the smith these are the two things you are going to copy and then paste it in your you are going to paste it in the ts uh file which is in this case is up the component no no not ts file let's say it says uh, app.model.ts this is what we've done then we also need to add uh, okay so I think I'm moving on to step 6 so we are going to add the button which we already did we need to add the modal HTML template so let's go to add the modal HTML template which is this one so copy the template from ng template down to ng template that's what you are going to do and simply copy it and paste it in the same HTML uh, HTML uh, component. Give me one second, let me see. So paste it somewhere uh, below here, paste. Now I'm going to take out this date of birth right here. So I'm going to remove it. 
and I'm also going to take out date of birth Pika. I'm also going to take off this one as well because we are not working with dates right now. That's a subject for another tutorial. So I'm going to say this is the pop-up of uh, the model and I'm going to remind you please subscribe and like. Okay, so this was going to be displayed in the model. So I'm going to now go to step five as the model template this is what we just did and finally we are going to add the scripts to the component script file so the script uh is this one okay so the first thing you want to do is to copy both the open and the uh the open and the dismiss reason so copy the two of them and go to the um component file so the component file is simply the comp the file the ts file that corresponds to the html file so they have all, almost the same name but different extensions so simply go down somewhere down here and paste the two functions you've copied and this is just fine there's one more thing we need to do so let's see and that is uh we need this state here that says private model service ngb model so i'm going to just copy it and let me show you where you are going to put it so go to the yeah the constructor section and just add it as one additional parameter to the constructor at this point we are good to go so i'm going to save everything and let's see if it's working if it's working that is great so meanwhile i normally like to check if i have any error okay. So you can see it compiled successfully here, okay? Um, so let's go back to the page. So I'm going to first refresh and I'm going to click launch model and you can see the model pop-up displays and you can always close it. Now there are other things you can do with the model pop-up. For instance, you want to display a form, you want to submit a form. Now I'm making another video on that. I'm going to make it very simple because normally are uh, using TypeScript with Angular and, and um, all this uh, UI stuff is a bit uh, tasking, but I'm trying to find a way to break it down for my subscribers, for everyone, for beginners to be able to understand. So this is how to achieve this. And remember, these are the steps. You can write them down. And I'd like to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and also like and share this video and let me know how you feel. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.